testing one two three I really hope you guys can hear me right now hopefully I set up this microphone all good and stuff you know what I mean so we're gonna take out here Betsy to get a car wash cuz she dirty she dirty she dusty no car all right let's go baby The car wash is not that far off from my house, so that's a good thing right there. Oh man! Hey! Beautiful car, car, beautiful motorcycle. So, anyways, I hope you guys can hear me. But today, something I want to talk about is, and this is a very, very talked-about subject when it comes to motorcycle riding, is the MSF course. Now, truth be told, I actually failed the MSF course for the first time and let me tell you guys why I never had experience with any dirt bikes no manuals nothing and pretty much a bike is a manual so when it came down to the testing and everything boy let me tell you okay I filled three um, I filled three categories which is speed I was not going fast enough when it comes to motorcycling and cornering and stuff you want to make sure you have that speed. I was not going fast enough because I was too scared. The next one was I wasn't looking through the turn. When you turn, you want to look at where you want to go. I wasn't doing that. And the last one is I was an emergency brake. I, I didn't know how to uh, do like an emergency brake stop. I failed it. Like they have little lines there, and I stopped too far away from the the required lines. You know, from from uh, from the distance. So I failed that, and I'm banned. Ooh. I was so embarrassed and upset but guys it takes failure to come back with the vengeance i came back and boy i freaking i made that test my beach i passed it with flying colors the msf course is pretty much a two-day course where the instructors you're all sitting like in a classroom or something and they go over it's not really you know the laws they just go over um motorcycle handling what to do in situations what to look out for people think it's pretty dumb to do that class but tell me i mean trust me guys it's a oh is that a z is that a dumb made eye people think it's dumb and everything but it's actually not dumb it's a great class it's very informative and the best part is that you get a waiver so when it comes down to the dmv and getting your license you don't gotta take the freaking driving test of the DMV because I heard it's ridiculously hard. I paid around $350 only because I started going when all this virus thing happened and they shot up the prices for safety and whatnot. So that's when I went. I know what you guys are gonna say, those 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 uh those fast people out there, you know, the rebels. Oh guys, so I don't care. Like I'm a rebel, no license, I'm gonna I'm gonna go away from the cops and they won't catch me and okay that's cool man but the percentage of danger you're putting yourself into because motorcycle riding is already dangerous enough skyrockets all the way up and trust me guys in my opinion yeah it's cool but I don't think it's worth it you know I suggest go through the steps take the course go to the DMV take the online test and get your license and get your insurance get everything that you need get everything that you need trust me guys it's definitely worth it there's not a better feeling than when a cop stops you and he says license and registration please and you're like bam there you go you have everything intact you stop the bike and most of the time they're gonna let you go because they're gonna be like damn like you know what thank you for stopping I appreciate that and most of you are asking you know oh hey ground brothers but uh most of you are probably saying you know okay it's probably boring it's probably it's not no let me tell you exactly how I went over here in Cali I don't know if it's the same anywhere else uh first day you're in the classroom presentation you know talking to everyone uh you're pretty much go over a PowerPoint about safety and whatnot 
then the last half of the day you start riding motorcycles they teach you how to turn them on how to shift gears how to brake you know the basics the next day again you go through a powerpoint after the powerpoint you go to lunch or whatever and then after that you take your uh, your class written test guys if you pay attention i'm telling you pay attention it's gonna be so freaking easy i only feel like three out of 50 so come on now and i don't like taking tests and then after that you're gonna take a written test which if you pay attention if you trust the instructors when they tell you to go fast go fast you're gonna pass the test and boom you're done that's it just two days when i was in my class the second time i had like eight people so some, some of them were like in their 30s or 40s and guys i'm telling you that class is for all ages i have recommended guys it's definitely worth it you already know what this line's for el swami el swami i haven't been to swami in a long ass time guys you want any good shirts or stuff the swami is a place to go been this road this is a very popular road here in Riverside Victoria look how beautiful look how beautiful that is guys look at the nice nature the trees the scenery man everything's nice here man everything's just beautiful here Woo. and I've gotten a lot of comments too people asking me yo what type of insurance do you have higher paying 20 something bucks a month guys I shopped around everywhere I like I asked for quotes everything the place that got me the best deal the best bang for my buck was geico i'm not sponsored by geico trust i'm not they don't sponsor a lot of people i'm not sponsored by geico they have the best quotes man you know people help you over the phone they ask you what exactly you're looking for and they're gonna find a plan oh and the best thing is if you guys got your certification from the msf of course you get a freaking discount like what more do you guys want like you're getting a discount like you're you're getting a discount you're waving the motorcycle test for, like what more do you guys want MSF course is don't be afraid of the bike you got to trust your bike and I'm pretty sure that once you guys buy your bike you're gonna build that bond that relationship you know um, I was scared I was scared that's why I didn't want to go fast um, it is what it is but I got everything intact I got everything done the license is done the registration is under my name I got the insurance like I'm chilling like a villain I'm straight chilling like a villain guys I'm telling you on a Sunday it's misty it's not like like moist in the outside and it's not humid it's man it's a perfect day to go riding I'm telling you guys and while you know this is my first ever moto vlog I need to come up with a little intro you know guys so leave down in the comments below what should my intro be I wanted to be really catchy so you guys got to be creative here okay I was thinking something like, yo, it's your boy Gonzo back in his motorcycle with another vlog. Something like that, you know? A little cheesy. Woohoo, that backfire though, baby. Man, this is a nice road. I ain't gonna lie to you guys. It's pretty anyways guys i hope you enjoyed this short little moto vlog my first ever so please show me some love you know give this channel a big thumbs up subscribe to the channel share it with your friends family co-workers ex-girlfriend ex-boyfriend whoever you want because anything helps the channel guys anything helps the channel stay humble be creative and i'll see you guys in the next video mm -hmm.